Got some updates regarding Intel's Battlemage GPUs, some news regarding Fallout, some updates regarding AMD, two things regarding AMD actually. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. As always, timestamps are down below if you would like to scroll and see what we're going to be covering today. So first up, Intel's upcoming Battlemage GPUs promise enhanced visual experiences with support for DisplayPort 2.0 technology, and this means faster data transmission and improved refresh rates, setting the stage for immersive gaming and content creation. The main thing that I'm curious about with Intel right now is whether or not they're going to attempt competing with AMD or if they're going to attempt competing with Nvidia. It's kind of like up in the air at this point. So obviously they have a long ways to go in order to like even like touch Nvidia right now. But I, I, I kind of feel like, I don't know, man, with, with, so it's so random because like these leaks, one leak will say this and the other one will say this. And then this one is this, and then this one's new. And then this one's that. And it's like, oh, this guy's more reliable. Oh, this guy's been correct as well, but he's not as reliable. So we have like these like updates regarding AMD, not releasing a higher end GPU. And then more recently we have updates regarding somebody inside of AMD saying that they are going to be releasing a high end GPU. We got pretty far off topic there. Let's move on to the second topic. And I'm actually going to uh, go take my food out of the oven. I can smell it burning a little bit. Your boy's making some vegan meat for the very first time. Sitin or Sitin or Satan. Oh, sh unmonetized. Fallout New London. How many of you like to cook? Fallout New London, the highly anticipated Fallout mod project has hit a bump in the road with delayed launch window which is disappointing and this delay underscores the challenges of the game development and the dedication of developers to deliver a polished experience for players now i have seen some uh people talking uh could be incorrect about this could be generated by ai take that back probably generated by ai what article nowadays is not generated by AI. I don't know, dude. I hope it's not rushed out because have you, have you, any of you watched the new movie or series on Amazon Prime Video? You have to have. You're like, come on, bro. If you don't have Amazon Prime, and that's that's actually something that I'm curious. Like when the other day when I was like, well, I wouldn't have a 4090 like if I wasn't using it for work and I wasn't using it as an investment to like render out videos and whatever, do like all this like creative stuff. Okay, dude. When I had the 4090, the Asus 4090 over, dude, I run a PC building business. It wasn't just sitting here for no reason. What? Dude, do you, like, if you go to my channel real quick, we have, like, hundreds of videos on PC builds. Do you think I just, like, store these PC builds in, like, my room and I'm like, oh, I have so many PCs. I'm so much better than everybody else. Look at my hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of computers that are just sitting here so I can... Let's go into the, the third topic. Unreal Engine 5.4 was released. Have any of you dabbled in Unreal Engine? Dude, if you like games like Minecraft, if you like games like, uh, even like some of the older games, like the Tony Hawk games, where you could like create your own skateboard levels and like put ramps in certain places and all that kind of, like any of the like games where you can create, create stuff. Like Super Mario Maker, bro, that's like one of my favorite games ever still. Um, just because the amount of replayability that it had, you know what I mean? And it was, it wasn't like the game Dreams, where Dreams was like, it was so overly complicated. Whereas like Super Mario, all right, let's get back to the video. Number four, AMD Radeon RX 8000 rumors are swirling about and the next generation GPUs from AMD RX 8000 series, or in other words, RDNA 4 GPUs, particularly regarding the use of 18 giggle giggle bytes per second gdr6 memory gigabytes of memory so if this is true it could mean a significant boost in memory bandwidth leading to better performance in gaming and content creation tasks that would be so cool if amd actually made their graphics cards not suck for video editing oh my god and if anybody here okay so first up if you have an AMD GPU and you have never had an NVIDIA GPU, don't say anything. If you have had an NVIDIA GPU and tried an AMD GPU, then you can feel free to say something. If you have only ever had an AMD GPU and you really like AMD and that's all you've ever used, then do not say anything about it being a crappy graphics card for 
at least for the Adobe applications, okay? And yes, I pay for Adobe, dude, okay? I, I actually pay for the Adobe Cloud. Crazy, right? But, uh, <laughs> but so, and the reason I pay for it is because of all the AI stuff, bro. It's super, it's just so, it makes my life so easy. Oh, hey, there's a, there's a thing in, in my image or there's a thing over here in my video. Let me erase it. Race, race, race. Prompt, put this here. There it is. <laughs> and I don't have to spend any time doing anything. It's just like prompt, poof, there it is. And this applies like they're even getting into the like the video editing scene, dude. Like where, like where you can like whatever cut out this computer and replace it with a more expensive computer that all of you are gonna be like, yo, this guy has a freaking fifty thousand dollar computer in his room. But it, realistically, it's only like a four thousand dollar computer, and everybody's gonna subscribe to me because they think I'm a baller with all kinds of freaking money. <laughs> so, anyways. Um, that would be really cool if AMD could uh, release a good video editing GPU. I think that would be pretty neat. So anyways, next, AMD's epic 4004 CPUs are shaking up their market with plans. To, you see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying about it just sounding stupid? The brain epic 4000. This is my last time I script a video because it's actually like I'm already like understanding like why. Why there's a lot of support on like i get more views on the like more and this one's probably it's probably not gonna happen to this one because i keep getting off topic <laughs> because it's just who i am um and then i forget about what i was saying like right now <laughs> but uh yeah we're gonna get back to this because i already forgot what i was saying um and this is what i was like saying dude like i just want to hang out with people and talk about stuff that it's also interesting i'm not i don't want to I'm going to probably not edit anything in this. I'm just going to like, or I'm going to edit it, but I'm not going to like super edit it. So anyways, the, the new 4,004 CPUs that are going to add, support the AM, AM5 platforms featuring the X3D and 3D Vcash technology. These processors promise unparalleled performance and efficiency potentially disrupting the market and establishing AMD as a leader in high performance computing. Kind of thought they were already there, but at least for the CPUs, 7800X3D is literally the best gaming CPU out there. So, I mean, I got to be honest with this dude as somebody that has. Okay. So, how do I want to put this without it sounding bad? I'm not even going to say it because it's because it's going to sound bad if I say it. So anyways, man, I think it's going to be pretty cool if AMD can actually I know and I know I keep repeating this, but it's what I do for a living. So it's like it's what I it's what I like use. So like I hope that they can update their their CPUs to have stuff like quick sync and all these like like the obs studio features for intel cpus and, and uh, the adobe program man like i don't if it, it, it literally feels like companies are like partnered with all of them. like it feels like nvidia and intel are partnered with all the video editing softwares it feels like intel and nvidia are partnered with obs and it feels like everything that i use it's like nvidia and intel are partnered and some people can be like well i mean if those were good why why not whatever swap or just keep using it because dude specifically 14th and 13th generation cp actually so i'm not gonna say 13 because i never ran into it an issue when i had the 13900k i never ran into problems with that cpu this one however is a pain in my rear end bro it's a 14900k and the, the problem with the cpu dude is like when and i don't it could be windows it could be windows because it's it's not like an all the time thing it's just like certain days it wants to be stupid and then other days it wants to be smart and like the problem with it dude is like so there's some days where i'll lo i'll like be editing a video and it's constantly boosting itself and th the issue when it boosts itself up to its maximum speed is it also gets to its maximum thermal temperature and when it hits that 100 degree mark it like it creates this like lag 
in your video editor for a moment and it's it's not like it makes it unusable and it's not as bad as if it was like an amd gpu but it's still frustrating and when you pay four to five thousand dollars for a computer you don't expect that man you know what i mean like you're you don't expect that when you have all this like whatever power uh but yeah man let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about this i, I really hope that intel can really compete with I hope in NVIDIA, dude, because like, dude, NVIDIA is like the prices are just getting outrageous right now. And it's like, the dude, I didn't really care with the 30 series or 40 series. I was just like, whatever, man. It's like, it's part of inflation. It's part of COVID. And it's a part of the game that everybody is playing that we're all forced to play. It's not like it's just them. You know what I mean? It's like people are like, oh, don't buy a 40 series. Fucking everybody saying that probably has a 40 series graphics card. It's like, dude, <laughs> it's like there's a new graphics card. People want it. That's just how life works, man. It's how people function. It's how we operate. But like the, th the thing is, dude, is like, and I'm, I'm kind of eating my own words here because you don't need a 4090. You don't need a 5090. And look, man, you do get better. You do get better performance with a 4090 over a 4080. I'm not saying that they're not better inside of video games. What I'm saying is, is it actually worth another 20 or 30 FPS for a thousand bucks? They're literally a thousand dollars more than an RTX 4080, dude. Like they're, if not more, some of them are even double the price. So like, that is what I was getting at the other day where i had the, a 4090 computer that literally it's literally sitting down there because a fucking asshole flaked on me <laughs> i really despise it when people do that dude because so anyways the way for, for those of you that may not understand what i'm saying here i run a pc building business and i and everything that i do is making an offer so good it's impossible to say no to and the reason i explain that is because i don't charge people money when i build a computer the computers that i build that you see me building People do not pay me a penny until they come and get the computer. And unfortunately, there's some pretty big shit bags on our planet where they'll be like, oh, I want a four or $5,000 computer. I'll buy everything, build it. And then they're like, oh, I have car issues or my dog came down with cancer or some shit. And it's like, dude, how about you just tell me you can't afford it to begin with? <laughs> so anyways, long storage it's the be quiet video that we have it's literally sitting right there because the dumbass apparently his dog came down with some stuff and if that happened bro i'm sorry okay like if your dog came down with a problem then so be it but i'm pretty sure you know just as well as i know nothing happened to his freaking dog so anyways um again real real person forgetting what he was about to say so i'm gonna end the video because i already forgot what i was about to say but anyways if any of you want a 14900k and a 4090 computer build down there go watch the video of me building it because now i have to list it and wait a couple of months for people to literally buy the best of the best computer you can possibly fucking buy which is going to take forever because there's not many people looking to buy that except for people on youtube maybe <laughs> because apparently everybody on youtube has a 4090 and it's definitely worth it so there you go there's your 4090 computer uh i'm pretty sure it was 4900 the list of parts are in the video i made you go look look at the price of everything it's 4900 bucks that's literally what i paid for all the parts that's all i will charge plus shipping depending on where you live you know what i mean or if you live in new hampshire or in the new england area and you would like to come and pick this computer up just for the cost of parts then feel free to leave a comment down in the comment section below and i'll send you my facebook link over to my business page there you go. Man, I got way off topic. End video, boys. Peace.